Hey everybody, it's Randall again. Um, so in my last video, where I talked about Tommy Lahren and her idiotic tweets, where she sort of put out there that Kamala Harris had her career because she slept around, and how Tommy basically insulted every parent that's ever tried to make a better life for their child, I hinted that that wasn't going to be the original topic of the show, um, of the video. The original topic was going to be the shooting that had just happened at a Walmart. And I'm not talking about the El Paso one that happened today. Um, I'm talking about the one that was a disgruntled employee. And basically, um, I was going to say how, yeah, we can keep giving our thoughts and prayers, but it's not really going to change anything. And after the El Paso shooting, that's all I saw from people. Oh, we're extend out our thoughts and prayers and, you know, we're going to put it in God's hands. And while that doesn't bring us actual change, you see, we're the ones here. We can actually enact the change. We can have better gun laws without damaging the Second Amendment. Believe it or not, folks, despite what those on the right might tell you, you can actually have gun laws that can actually be effective and in no way harm the second amendment and it seems to be those on the right who are defending the guns um they care more about the second amendment than they do actually human life in fact i forget who the author of this tweet was um and i apologize um he says something to the effect of the argument ended after Sandy Hook when we decided that there could be a slaughter of children and we're not going to change. Or something to that effect. It's not exactly worded as I presented it because I can't remember the exact tweet. But, you know, that sort of, that summed everything up. You know, we act like we care about kids in this country. You know, we, we've developed cars that tell you, hey, there's something in the back seat you might want to check out, you know, to remind people, hey, your kid's in the car. Um, Seatbelt laws, bicycle helmets. Um, you know, we inspect our, our kids' Halloween candy for fear that somebody might have poisoned it. We do everything to protect our kids. Yeah, when it comes to protecting them from guns, we're just like, yeah, well, you see, several hundred years ago, a bunch of guys wrote this document and they put in the Second Amendment. Now, I get a lot of people say the Second Amendment is all about uh, defending against a, a tyrannical government gone insane. I look at it as a little different, okay? I look at it as, back then, we didn't have a strong army. Um, part of the reason why we defeated the British was because our army was a bunch of irregulars. And for those of you who don't know what irregulars are, basically, it's not exactly uh, mercenaries. It's just, and, it, and it's not exactly guerrillas, but it's basically a, a, an untrained army of citizens. Um, and that's basically how we defeated the British. If you ever look at your history, you will always see that irregulars will always defeat a well-tuned army. I know that sounds a little against conventional logic, and that's the whole reason why we're never going to establish anything in the Middle East is because we're trying to fight irregulars with regulars, but that's a topic for another video. You know, and that's my whole opinion on the Second Amendment. It was so that each state, because we did not have a strong national army, we didn't even have a navy at the time, okay, that each state, each colony, would be able to defend themselves in case of an attack. But moving on, you know, in the 1920s, when you had Dillinger and you had Bonnie and Clyde, you had Capone, you had Nitty, you had Babyface Nelson, and the total gang warfare that was going on at the time brought about by pro Prohibition, the NRA was just actually like, wait a minute, folks. We need to have a national registry. We need to do something so that criminals aren't finding it easy to have guns. And people didn't have a problem with that. It wasn't until the 70s when the NRA got sort of corrupted 
And it's been corrupted because it's, it's totally shredded from its original purpose. And then it became all about making sure everybody had guns. Yes, we gotta make sure everybody has guns because the NRA is controlled by gun manufacturers. And the NRA has in turn bought our politicians. So we could sit here and say, you know, hope and change and sending out prayers, but nothing is ever going to change. Call me a fatalist on this, but we're going to continue to have mass shootings. Sometimes maybe the next one will be in a school. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the next mass shooting is going to be, but there's going to be more. You, you can bet your bottom dollar there's going to be more. Because as long as we have... John Cronin and Ted Cruz and, and all these politicians that get the A rating from the NRA, um, nothing's ever going to change. Sad fact is the NRA has bought and purchased the vote. So we're never going to have gun change, gun control. We're never going to have any meaningful laws passed. All right. I hate to be a downer for you. More lives are going to be lost, like in El Paso. And there's going to be more talk of change. It's never going to come. They're just empty words. Empty words from empty suits. Nothing's ever going to get done until we can break the stranglehold. Until the NRA is no longer in a position to purchase votes. To purchase politicians get what they want until we can stop that until we can focus on that and eradicate that this is never going to change and we're going to have more days where we wake up mass shooting here or when we're watching a TV show when it says breaking news mass shooting here You know, I really hope we can enact some sort of change in this country. I really do. Now, I could have mentioned the name of the shooter in El Paso today. Um, a white guy who on his social media account is very pro-Trump, very anti-immigration. Yeah, Trump, you see... You got blood on your hands for this one. I don't care what anybody says. You got blood on your hands for this one. This is this is what you help spawn. By preaching hatred. By saying Mexicans were giving us nothing but rapists and killers. And I apologize for my watch beeping. Um, you know. I just hope one day. Before it's too late. We can have change. You know, at the end of the Second Civil War, there's a line that goes, we are a work of art, but we are a painting in blood. Maybe our next step of evolution isn't a pair of shoes that can order pizza. Maybe it's not something new with technology. Maybe it's we finally stop painting in blood. And we actually enact some change in this country. For our children's sake. Because if they're not a victim of a mass shooting today, they may be one in the future. Well, that's it for this video. Um... Hopefully I gave you something to think about. And maybe it's time that. Uh, maybe it's time that we accept the fact that we need to take out the politicians. We need to vote out, I should say. The politicians who are owned by the NRA. Because until then, we may not see any change. But like I said, that will do it for this video. I will see you next time.